Welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time. I'm Patty Puckett. Welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing a pearl pour, and these are the colors I'm using. They're very thin, and I have a recipe for my white mix that's going to go on my base. I'll go over that in just a minute. So today I want to just go over the consistencies because it's really important with the pearl pour on your how thick your paints are. On a Dutch pour you have to have them very thin and on a pearl pour I think even thinner. So let's the colors are a little tiny bit thicker than the base. If you hold it up a couple inches it leaves a little tiny mound and sinks in like right away. You see that? Whereas the pearl mix, I mean, it just sinks in. It just goes right in. There's no mound at all. So that's the consistencies that you want. Um, the colors, not all colors pearl the same. In fact, I don't recall having an orange that pearled, but this color today, we'll try it. It's Creative Inspirations Cadmium Orange. And there's a pigment in there, Black Diamond Vivid Orange. So on, I use Liquitex Pouring Medium to dissolve the pigments. And I have pigments in the orange, the purple, and the blue. These three are just paints. These are mixed with paints and pigments. The blue color is Liquitex Basics Light Blue Permanent. And that's mixed with Eye Candy Soro Eye Row Blue. These two mixed together. The green is the Golden Phalo Blue, or Phalo Green Blue Shade. And the Art Mines Citrus. These two mixed together. The purple is just pigments. And where did I put it? Here. Oh, here they are. Um, primary elements, Snapdragon, and this little piggy, TLP, Nightfall. These two together. There's no paint in this. And the last time I used this, I'll put a picture right here. This really took over. So you could see there was a lot of colors in this one, but see how it took over. So I gotta be careful with this or it's all gonna be purple. Although it turned out good in the end. This one is Payne's Gray by Amsterdam and some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. Mostly the Payne's Gray, I just put a little bit of black in there. And this is Cronacridone Nickel Azo Gold, Golden, heavy body. And my medium for here is a squirt of Liquitex Pouring Medium and U.S. Floetrol. And of course it has a little bit more Liquitex Pouring Medium for the pigments to dissolve them. And that's it for my colors. And we talk about my base paint. I'm going to have um, recipes down in the description. I have, a, I, I think, three recipes that work. Um, this particular recipe, um, I think I've used it before. You never know with the colors what it's going to be like. So every pour is almost an experiment. This is one part Liquitex pouring medium, one part Artist Loft white soft body, one part bare satin enamel, 70-50, and that's uh, white, one part bare satin, 3300, untinted, three parts Floetrol, and I added water. I have it written on the bottle, I don't know if you can see that, it's going to be written down below in the description. Very thin. So let's get started. So if you are having problems getting pearls, you might want to try the colors that other people are using in their YouTubes because colors, they do matter. And um, 
try someone's recipe exactly and make sure you have the right consistency and you get enough paint off your canvas. If you don't get enough paint off, it's, it's not going to work. Um, sometimes you want to leave a little bit more paint on the side if you want it to look different instead of just having all pearls everywhere. We'll see what this one does. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and pour a lot of paint on here at first. colors are going to go. I'm going to start with Payne's Gray. I'm just going to string it along right, right where my color is. You see this sinks and so does the um, Artist Loft Black. It sinks and it pearls really well. So if you want something that pearls well, Payne's Gray and Artist Loft Black does the job. I'm going to go ahead and pour, pour it on. I have to be careful with this one. Don't. That's all I want. gray in here. Bring on a little more blue. I'm going to have some negative space in this one. Let's see how it stretches. right away. This way. are pretty wonky. They start coming up before I finish tilting it, which has a lot to do with it. But also, if the recipe is not right, you're going to get wonky cells. So we'll just wait and see how this goes.
Yeah, this is sunk already. There's a lot of paint right there, so it's probably not going to pearl up, but it'll sink. these little curves coming out of there uh, it's just the natural way the paint's flowing just take advantage of that just make sure you do that make sure you wipe off your knife every time you go get a color I think I like it, even with the wonky cells. Yeah. Uh, I like the orange coming through here and here and the blue coming through. Even though it's sort of wonky up here, I don't know what the purple's doing, but it, I like it. And once it dries, if I don't like these random pearls, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that in. Um, I might put some fake pearls in there. Yeah, I like it. Hopefully it dries like this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Check out my Pearl Pour playlist. I have a lot more of these uh, with different recipes. Um, I appreciate it. Next time I am not going to use a nickel azo gold. I'm going to use a chroma molten metals. These metallics do pearl. Uh, metallics rarely do for me. This one does. It looks like my orange is probably this Creative Inspirations orange that's actually pearling. And thank you so much for watching. Check out my Amazon shop. Like and subscribe. Aloha.